Good afternoon, child. Good afternoon. So we are now on our second lesson sa arts, which is ethnic traditions. So I hope you can still understand me even if my voice is like this. And please get your book in MAPE. Go to page 145. We will be talking about ethnic traditions, okay? So before we do that, please answer, take off activities A and B on pages 145 to 146. On page 145, take off letter A. Look at the pictures very closely. You see there are a lot of pots. Answer the questions below the picture, okay? On letter B, you color the pot red if the statement is correct and color it black if the statement is wrong, okay? Now let's begin. So pottery making, this has long been a very rich tradition in the Philippines. It is one of the earliest art form practiced by the Filipinos. So this art tradition has existed way before pre-colonial period, meaning Shiloh, before we were colonized by the Spaniards and other colonizers, pottery making has existed already. Filipinos have been making pots even way before we were colonized by other countries, okay? So Filipinos are actually good at making pots. So they use pots for cooking, drinking containers, and keeping the remains of course. Yes, exactly. They use jars to keep the remains of dead people. Now, some modern times, we use coffin, but before, they use pots to keep the remains of dead people. Okay? So we have an example here, which is the Badugul jar. Si Badugul jar is considered a masterpiece produced during the pre-colonial period. So as you can see sa picture, na ay mga patterns, no? na ay mga art, art elements na naasa jar. So please remember, this masterpiece has been created before the pre-colonial period. Okay? Before Patana Sakop. Okay? So, Manugul jar, it is a burial jar found in Tabon Cave in Palawan. Okay? When you say burial jar, sudlanan siya sa patay. Okay? It keeps the remain of a dead person. Okay? Now, as you can see, na asya mga patterns, na mga art elements niya. Why are we talking about this? Because you can actually create an artwork that depicts illusion of depth. When you say illusion of depth, meaning mas kin flat siya, Shiloh, you can make it or you can turn it into a 3D art. Okay? How? By using cross-hatching. When you say cross-hatching, it is a method of line drawing that describes light and shadow as what you can see in the example sa slide. Okay? You just use Lines, no? Look at the lines in the edges. These are the different techniques that you can use to produce shadow and light, di ba? So, nasa imaginary nga texture, no? Nasa imaginary nga volume. Even if it is actually flat, but it looks like uh, it is 3D, no? With the use of lines. Now, you can also make this one Shiloh, okay? You can actually make this one. So, to indicate shadows, lines are duplicated in one direction and cross in other direction, as you can see on page 147, okay? Why do I... Why am I telling you this? Because I want you to try this, okay? On page 148, Shiloh, you have to answer shine together A and B on page... 148. So letter B, you have to apply cross-hatching technique to the following objects. Okay? A and B lang ibong answer. After you answer shine together A and B, send the picture of your work to 
by a council messenger, okay? To prove that you have really done the activity. Shiloh, I hope you have learned something today. And good luck sa ibuhang pag-answer. And I'll see you next time around. Thank you and have a great afternoon. Bye.